A Manaqua murder case went unsolved for nearly 36 years. Barbara Mendez was murdered on April 28th in 1982 at the Park City Credit Union building in Manaqua. Yesterday, police arrested her husband, 69 year old Robin Mendez, for her murder. Today, he made his first court appearance since his arrest. News 12's Ali Herrera has been working on finding out more about Mendez. She joins us live in the studio. Ali, good evening. Rose, witnesses told police Robin Mendez was a liar and often paranoid after Barbara Mendez's murder. This 36 page complaint also outlined sexual relationships Robin Mendez had with young girls both before and after his wife's death. For more than 35 years, a cold case murder haunted Oneida County. The way that she died was a horrible death and people really were affected by it. Police think on April 28th, 1982, 69 year old Robin Mendez murdered his wife, Barbara Mendez, at the Park City Credit Union building in Manaqua, where she worked. It's in the newspapers from back then. She was bludgeoned to death, so somebody struck her in the head numerous times. Oneida County Captain Terry Hook says since then, police re interviewed witnesses witnesses who she says were more clear about things. It's what everybody's thought for years, but we were able to put it together in a way that it's presentable to a jury. According to a criminal complaint, police think Robin Mendez killed his wife with a pry bar. The complaint goes on to say Mendez sexually assaulted young girls both before and after his wife died. Mendez has served at least eight years in prison for those crimes. Alleging first degree murder. Today, dozens of people filled an Oneida County courtroom for Mendez his first court appearance in this case. His daughters with Barbara Mendez, Dawn and Christy were there. We deeply love and miss our mom and are so grateful this day has finally come. The two daughters were 11 and 13 at the time of the murder. They told police Robin Mendez would often manipulate them so they would help him have an alibi. We have great hope in a God who is always good. And though many are grateful for this closure, this brings to us, we truly see this as a bridge into a new beginning. Don and Christy also thanked police for their work on this cold case murder. Those girls were my age in 1982. That was their mom. That was their life. They were just getting into their teenage years and they lost their mom. Now, Mendez is currently in jail on a $250,000 cash bond. We'll continue going through this criminal complaint and updating you as we learn more about this case.